is up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Michelle and it is a pleasure to have you here so I know it's been some time since we've seen each other it's been a minute since I've been on here but the important thing is that I'm officially back and today I'm gonna catch you guys up on everything that I've been up to the reason why I was away and you get to see me do my makeup so before we even get started I have to give a major shout out to heart my lash because they are the company who I am partnering up with for this video. So, I don't know if you guys have ever seen, or if you follow me on social media, but I don't know if you guys have seen my Halloween looks from last year. My colorful clown makeup look, I was actually wearing their lashes. And when I tell you, every single person asked me about the lashes. Like, their lashes are amazing. So I can't wait for you guys to see them once my makeup is fully done. And if you want to shop, I'll make sure to leave all the information down below. So, while I start my makeup, let me kind of tell you guys the idea that I have for the makeup look that I'm going for today. So, um, I'm actually thinking of... Hold on. Actually, no. I'm actually thinking of using my Cherry Coke Morphe palette, which I have showed you guys before because I left a review. But to show you the colors, I'm thinking of possibly using this light brown, um, maybe this soft tan, and not get too dark with my browns. So like that, I can add this really, really nice, nice, what? <laughs> so I can add this really, really nice forest green. On my lower lash line that is actually one of my favorite looks of all times a simple nude lid with a nice pop of color underneath fire and I'm gonna show you guys how to get it done so my eyebrows are actually already done um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of my bigger blending brushes and then just slowly start creating that nice ombre effect that I like to create so you guys, I've been away, but I promise you guys I have been working. There's so many things that I've been working on. Let me just drop the first bomb. I officially have a mentee and I'm working on getting an assistant because I'll be honest, there's a lot of things that I'm trying to do at the same time and I need help. Like, I'll be honest, I need help. I can't do it all. I literally only have two hands and I'm juggling YouTube. I have Amazon. I have Instagram content that I have to, you know, obviously create for you guys. Um, what else do I do? I have my, obviously I have my online store. So that involves, that involves me being really active um, because I'm the one who takes the pictures, I plan out the photo shoots, I look for the models, I plan everything for the models as far as like the styling, the accessories are obviously from the store, so just putting everything together and it's easy work, at least it's easy work for me because I personally enjoy to do that, but it's time consuming. So when I'm trying to do so many things at the same time, it's really hard to not ask for, you know, not ask for help, but not necessarily ask, pay for help. Um, but that's the number one thing I've been up to. I've been just working with my mentee. Um, I've been creating content for you guys. If you guys follow me on my personal page, you guys see that I'm always out and about trying to find the best food spots in Miami, in Broward, in Fort Lauderdale. Um, yeah, just literally like content is king, especially when you can get paid on social media. Like you have to continuously create content. Um, but besides her being added to the team, let's see. See, I'm trying to create a soft, just coppery color. I'm trying to keep everything pretty matte. Um, so like that, it can go with all the pieces that I'll be wearing today. So 
So besides me looking for an assistant and hiring a mentee, I've actually been working really, really, really hard on an online makeup course, you guys. Right now, or since forever, the internet has been one of the most important platforms, platforms, um, resources, whatever it is that you like to call it, um, to, to build a business, you guys. And let's face it, right now, after COVID, there's not many things going on in person anymore. Like, there's still a lot of people scared. There's a lot of people who have moved. Um, I don't know. It's just so much easier to do things online. And I saw this coming from a really, really long time ago, to be honest, because the internet is amazing. Social media is amazing. Like, we're able to reach so many people all at once versus having people to travel to you to learn a makeup course or to take a makeup course or if they want to learn a specific makeup look like think everyone's just doing their own thing now and they're doing a million and one things so it's just so easy for people to just log into their computer and be like you know what i want to learn an everyday makeup look today or you know what, I want to become a makeup artist, right? So I'm going to be able to offer you guys courses not only for my entrepreneurs who need to learn how to create, you know, an everyday makeup look, but also for my younger teens, like people who are 18, 19, 20, you get me? Give those, give that young crowd an opportunity to become a makeup artist and learn a craft that nobody can ever take away from them. So that's actually, it leads to my next, um, my next project. I never really had that, that proper guidance. Like had I had someone like me in my life when I was 18 years old to tell me, Hey, no, like you can actually go to beauty schools and yes, you can make a lot of money becoming a makeup artist and a hairstylist or a colorist, like whatever it is that you personally like. Um, I would be so much further in life, I personally feel, um, because I would have had somebody who would have given me the ins and outs to the beauty industry, right? But a lot of times when we're graduating high school, all we know is, okay, well, we got to sign up for school, for college or for university. Oh, and I don't know, I have to enjoy the summer, right? Because that was literally the only thing that I personally was thinking about at that time so moving forward now as an adult i'm like damn like i really wish i had me in my life at that age so sometimes your best answers and i posted this on social media the other day your most needed answers are always going to be right in front of you right for me it was myself like i realized that i needed myself right so why not be that for other girls who most likely feel the same exact way that I felt when I graduated? Does that make sense? Like, I don't know. There's so many young, younger people that I have met in the past year, especially because I obviously, I am a makeup artist and prom is usually around this time of the year and graduations. So I've met a lot of new younger people who really, really made me realize that they do need that guidance, right? Because they were even looking up to me right then and there when I was doing their makeup and I would explain to them how my senior year went and what it was like to graduate and what it felt like and what to expect because a lot of people don't tell you what to expect. They're like, no, you have to go to school, you have to do this. And yes, education is very important. But if you're a creative like me, and you might not even know it, but if you are creative like me, sitting down in a classroom is not going to fulfill you, right? That was just that's how it was for me. But I made that realization, and that's actually what I've been working on recently. I've been working on my online course, How to Become a Makeup Artist, a Professional Makeup Artist course. Um, and just gathering my thoughts and my ideas because this is going to be like a complete different umbrella 
under classy trends beauty of course but this is a whole different just journey not only am I going to help people but I'm going to build people I'm going to build businesses I'm going to help you strategize all of the above so with that being said that's what I've been up to um let me actually get i've been talking and i haven't been doing my makeup so let me get my foundation i'm gonna move on to my foundation because like i said i don't want anything too crazy on my eyelid because i want the attention to go to my lashes um just move on to my foundation Alrighty then, now that I'm back, I have to cover this little mosquito bite because let me tell you, summer here in Miami is not easy with these mosquitoes. I have bites all over my body and sometimes it gets itchy, but then if I scratch it, I'm going to bruise up because I bruise up pretty easily and then I'm going to look like I have a hickey, which obviously I don't want that because I don't have a hickey and I don't want one. <laughs> Um, I personally don't think that is the most um, ladylike thing to do. But anyways, I'm going to cover all of this up. As you guys know, I always like to apply my foundation with a foundation brush and then go in with my beauty blender. So, as I move on, back to my mentee, you guys. She has been doing so, so good. You're not going to believe how old she is. You're not going to believe how old she is. She's 15, you guys. 15. I was just talking to you guys about how I didn't even know what I wanted to do at 18. Now, she's very, very honest with me. She does not know if this is what she's going to want for, to do for the rest of her life. But I'm super proud of her because at 15 years old... I was just worried about making money and this girl is over here building a whole empire for herself and I keep telling her that by the time that she turns 18 years old and you graduate, <laughs> girl, you about to have so much knowledge, you're going to have so much experience and you're going to have a lot of mother money, right? Because at the end of the day, I don't care what anybody else says money can move mountains you guys right money can buy you happiness because it, it, it can buy you ha not internal happiness but it can give you happiness for the moment let's say i want to go out and have an amazing time i'm gonna need money to spend on food on drinks or if i want to go to the beach maybe buy not buy rent a jet ski or buy a jet ski if that's what you want i personally don't live in a house so i can't buy a jet ski but um Money can allow you to do a lot of things. Money can allow you to have freedom. Depending on how much money you have, it might not be financial freedom, but it can give you a little bit of freedom. So I'm just super happy that she's taken the initiative to get started and enrolled in this course. Um, I'm excited that she is my mentee. And once she finishes this 10-week course that I'm going to be able to offer you guys very, very soon, she's going to become an intern. And that's when she's really, really, really going to get hands-on and really like perfect her, her talent and her artistry. So I needed to tell you guys that because I'm just so proud of her. Like Working alongside of her and working with her has been one of the most amazing things that I've actually been able to do in a really long time. 
the only other thing that I've actually been up to um, has been going to the pool a lot. So as you guys can see, I have I have these sunspots coming in. Um, I have to find a natural suntan lotion. So like that, I don't have to use any of these sunscreens that I'm more than sure have nasty chemicals and... I actually really haven't had the chance to or haven't taken the initiative to really sit down and read the ingredients in my sunscreen but um, I'm sure there is some chemicals in there that we don't necessarily need on our body um, so if you guys know of any natural sunscreens please send them my way because I would be super super interested in figuring out what I can purchase but yes, yeah, so I've been going to the sun. I mean, I've been going to the pool a lot. I've been under the sun, trying to be more active because I have a really, really, really special trip coming up. Um, so yeah, it's time to take care of my body, take care of my mind, and prepare because, man, this is going to be a special one. All right, so like I said, I'm keeping the face pretty natural. Um, all right, so I'm keeping the face pretty natural. So like that, the attention is all on the lashes. If you ever feel like your contour and your blush is too much, you can always go back in with the beauty blender and just soften everything up. And that's it. Alright, so moving on to my under eye. I'm going to grab this force green and I'm going to concentrate this color on my lower lash and only on my lower lash whoa I almost dropped this on my lower lash line all right so for my lower lash line I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this forest green Make sure you shake off any excess product that your brush may have. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. does seem like the green is a little bit more on the darker side than I personally like. Um, so, let me see if I can find a shimmery green. Let's see, hold on. I know for a fact I have a shimmery green somewhere, but I honestly don't know where that makeup palette is at the moment. What if I put glitter underneath? Let me see, hold on. So I'm thinking that I might be able to just apply this. Where is it? this nice green glitter let's see hopefully i don't fuck up my makeup right now
I'm not too much of a fan, but... This is just what it's going to have to be. Let's see if we can... Alright you guys, so moving on to my lashes, like I told you guys, this is the most important step in today's makeup look because, I mean, one, they're fire, and number two, it's really what's going to make my makeup look the way it's supposed to because right now it looks a little basic, I'm not too, too crazy about the look because of the glitter and I know I shouldn't have used that glitter because... It kind of just falls all over the place, but we'll we'll figure it out once they're on. So, I am removing a lash from its packaging. I always like to start at the outside of it. The insides are usually, depending on the lash, they're usually um, fit or cut or short enough for the inner corner. You don't want anything too, too, too long on the inner corner because... Our lashes are not naturally like that. So I always like to kind of pull it off from the back. Make sure nothing breaks. And if it does break, at least it's the outside and not the inner corner. And voila. just like any other lash you have to make sure that you measure them because if you don't measure them accordingly to your eye that's when they're gonna lift they're gonna fall off and they're gonna look a hot mess okay so I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can actually get a better look so I can already tell that this lash is too wide for me Now that you have prepped your lashes, you want to make sure that your glue is on correctly and that you dry that glue a little bit because if you apply this glue that's wet on your eye and you have a detailed eye, you're going to hate yourself forever and ever and ever. And then you're most likely going to have to redo the whole look again because the glue, since it's dark gray, it's going to be everywhere. So make sure that it's dry and once it's dry, I'm going to go ahead and apply it and I will show you guys. Mm. Now that I drink this wine, I have something else that's new. Have you guys been to Cooper's Hawk? Listen, I know a lot of my clients have told me to go to Cooper's Hawk for the longest, and I never listened to them. I finally went. Guys, we became members. <laughs> we get two bottles every month. We get a free tasting every month. Like, Cooper's Hawk is lit. What is up, you guys? All right, so we are officially back. So as you guys can see, I finally have my lashes on, my mascara on, my lip on. There's only one other thing that I would actually like to do. I would like to apply a little bit of highlighter on the bridge of my nose. On the bridge of my nose. Above my cheek area so we can get that nice glow. On the other side. And honestly, after this, we're practically done. I absolutely love the way that it came out. Um, like I told you guys, the lashes were really gonna tie in that night, that nice like glittery effect that I applied on my lower lash line. Um, 
I still have to do my hair because I have to finish a couple of my reels. And like I told you guys, I will be shooting some content today for Classy Trends. So let's zoom in into the look, into these bomb as lashes. And I will see you next time. Peace. <laughs> Did you guys really think that I was going to end the video like that without showing you guys the final look? I am obsessed with these lashes, as you guys can see. I can't wait to show you guys all the pictures, the videos. I've been creating content for my new summer collection, which will be up very soon. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, peace.